tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own. I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7. I am also joined by MK6. He will be here in a few moments. But we are here today to do a, another drift build review on this MX5 Forza Edition wide body from a subscriber, Mr. Harris1993. Hit me up on the video about my Miata saying that he had a pretty cool tune if I wanted to give it a shot. And, uh, well, that's what we're here to do today. We're going to give his tune a full rundown at probably a Dubai Mountain Circuit. Get MK6 here. He's probably going to be running another Miata or his BMW. Not sure what he's going to run yet, but we're going to try and maybe get some tandems with it. Just do a full uh, session with this Miata and see how his tune works. It is a four-rotor, so I'm going to pan over to that tune real quick. Not specialty dealer. Wrong button. Pan over to that tune for you guys so you guys can check out his tune. I will leave his gamer tag in the description box below as well if you guys want to check out this man's tune. As you see right here, four rotor, Mr. Harris, 1993. We are running sport tires at 285 tread width. Those are pretty sub pretty substantially wide rear tires. 690 horsepower. It is an R-Class car, which is a lot higher than cars I normally run. But, you know, we're going to give it a shot since it's a four rotor. And uh, the weight distribution is 51%, so it's a pretty good 50 Close to a 50-50 split, which is nice. My ESDA car is a 50 split. Um, and the weight is at 2,156 pounds, which is, uh, well, it's Miata. It's light. The wind blows the wrong way and the car flips over, especially with that big wing on the back of this thing. So we are going to hop into a session with MK here, and uh, we're going to send it and put this car sideways and put it through its paces and uh, see what we got with this guy's tune. Sweet. Oh, sorry. Right, now let's do it. Oh, yeah, let's do it. So we are here at Dubai Mountain Circuit. I got MK6 here in the party. He's rocking his E90 or E36 M3. E36. His ESDA car. Oh god, I love the sound of a four rotor. Oh my god. So first impressions of the Mike car. Here with me. What the hell? It's got a lot of wheel spin. Ooh. Okay, so if I wouldn't have initiated crappy, um, I mean, it seems pretty stable, so we're just going to send it fully and see. Oh my gosh. All right, so this car does not drive like my ESDA car, MK, wait up. Uh, I need to feather the throttle a little bit more. There we go. Oh my gosh. But it's pretty stable, and uh, the angle's there. I just can't overpower it. Uh, this four rotor is definitely. Uh, oh, wow. Whoa, what happened? The four rotor definitely has power for days. Just tap. It's a pretty stable tune. I mean, this car is very twitchy from the get go. Uh, I noticed that when I tried tuning it originally, the, uh, the car is a very twitchy car. So you gotta be very smooth with it. Higher gear helps. Fourth gear helps right there. So those those backfire from the fireworks always get me confused. I always think it's backfiring, but it's fireworks. There we go. So it can hold a nice high speed line though. Ooh, just a tap, lost my wing. No longer Wang Gang. But this this tune is definitely uh it's a pretty nice tune. Uh it's a little bit more stable than the tune I was running before. <laughs> oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I saw it coming. I thought I could sneak past you. I totally just wrecked this man's car. But it's okay, it's uh my money, right? Ooh, I'll buy him a new one. This car is insanely loud. But it's, uh, if you're gentle with it, right there, it's very nice. It's actually really nice on that sweep. Holy crap. Uh, I think I like this tune. Too bad you don't have this car, MK. You could, uh, rip this tune. Which, uh, which, which Miata is that? 
It's the Forza edition. You get it. You could only get it from like winning a league event. It's like a league prize. I might have. Which uh, do you remember which one? No, I do not. But I'm definitely getting the the hang of this now. Took me a little bit of a lap to get used to it, but we're back. I'm just not used to the short wheelbase, but I'm shredding it now. Ah, oh, as I say that. But it saved it. This car shreds. MK's back there just like in the smoke cloud. Just like I'm vaping. <laughs> Dude, this thing shreds. Just not good flavor. I just linked that whole thing and then threw it too much right there. <laughs> Dude, this man, Mr. Harris, you definitely got a pretty decent tune here. Oh, I'm having a lot of fun with this car. Let's see if we can't get a little bit of MK's door. Not sure what the braking bias is. Seems pretty good. Okay. Braking bias seems pretty good. Suspension seems pretty decent. Um, I don't know if my downforce is all screwed up now that I lost my wing. Uh, you still got your wing on my screen. Oh, oh! that's an inverted 360. Oh, we almost just died. Oh, I mean, God. okay. <laughs> This is what happens when you... Oh, there's my wing. This is what happens when you get MK in a lobby. And, you know, goes all shenanigans and stuff. Little quick e-brake in fourth. Brakes seem really good, because that was left foot brake to control it. So, this tune is uh, actually... Oop, wrong button. Very stable. Um, I do like it. Oh, look at that. For the clutch kick. And if you're gentle with it, it slides. I mean, look at that. I see you back there, MK. Dang. This car is something else for sure. Where are you at, MK? Rocker. not sure how the brakes were going to react, but it seemed, the brakes seemed very good, so I feel like I could kind of get pretty close. Oof. Quickie brake control there to not hit that wall. Just tap. <laughs> Just a tap. <laughs> I touched the butt. <laughs> the beamer butt. This thing just sounds so nasty. Oh, I wrecked it. It's so loud. Oh, come on, Andy. Two turns away. From linking the whole thing? Yup, we were done after two more turns. Switch into first person right now. Do a little uh, first person skids and unintentional 360. All right, we're not going first person. Get wrecked. <laughs> it's funny, I can't drive in third person. I have to drive in first person. I can drive in both, but I think drifting is a little bit easier for me in third person when I'm trying to get tandems because I can see better. I'm trying to catch up to you now. Oh, you just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Little black I look back Miata. And then just, you, just, you just popped into existence. I'm like, oh, I... that's a wall. My nose itches and I can't scratch it right now. <laughs> You just kicked my wing out of its place. Ooh, there we go. Oh! Hey, we got it. We got it. And the nose is scratched. <laughs> oh! 360. Oh. I just did a 360. <laughs> Alright, hold up. See if we can't get into this uh, sweeper. Trying to get this sweep, and I threw it. Too much. Too many beans! Oh god, I slowed down. There's your thumbnail. Yup. Oh. oh, hi. <laughs> I'm dead. So, this too definitely is a lot of fun. This Miata is a very twitchy and difficult car to drive, but 
Um, if you're gentle with it, it's gentle back. If you're rough with it, oh, it's rough with you. Just tap. Just tap. We're good. We're not good. Oh. Ah, uh, we're not good. <laughs> we're not good at all. Get wrecked. I might just have to go build myself a four rotor. That thing sounds fun. Oh, it's definitely a lot of fun. Oh my god, I switched camera views. What have I done? What have I done? What did you do? I... Oh god, I'm clicking all the wrong buttons. <laughs> now I'm on the outside of oh you. Oh my god. I went to throw it into that corner. And this I thing is so much Hope fun. You don't look I always throw it too much there. <laughs> this car is a lot of fun. Four rotors are definitely very loud, very angry, but a lot of fun to drive if you can get it right. Um, the Miata chassis. Oh, there we go. Doctor. <laughs> Performing surgery on MK's door if I can, and I fell off, but we're still good. That was a nice entry, though. <laughs> oh, I, I knew you were. A little clutch kick. Beister. This thing has angle for days. I mean, it, ooh, jeez, it's got plenty of angle to save itself. The echo off the mountains is insane. Matted, full throttle. <laughs> Oh, MK, where'd you go? <laughs> oh, that was a lot of fun. So I will leave this man's gamer tag down in the description box below, but it is Mr. Harris 1993. If you want to give his tune a shot, it's definitely a very fun tune. Um, overall, oh, we're out of time. My wheel just like snapped out of my wrists. Overall, the tune is definitely very fun. Um, suspension might be a little bit stiff for my taste. Uh, maybe a little bit softer suspension would do it a little bit better justice. But otherwise, it's a very stable platform. Definitely a big shout out to Mr. Harris for, you know, commenting on my video saying, hey, I got to tune up, give it a shot. Because uh, that's why we're here. We gave it a shot. I definitely approve. Uh, it's definitely a fun tune. I will be keeping this tune probably on this car for a while and uh, shredding it in some online sessions. So, as you guys know, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. Big shout out and thank you to you, MK, for coming out and uh, getting some slides. You know, been a while. Of course. Always, always fun. It's been a while. So, until next time, guys, I appreciate it. Like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out.